In terms of news, there may be no other city with the breadth, depth, and sheer amount than New Orleans. And for the past 34 years, James O'Byrne has covered it all for the Times Picayune and NOLA.com. James is a, is a New Orleanian through and through, and he understands that there's no town like New Orleans for the quantity of news, um, just the idiosyncrasy of the populace, the amazing stories that come our way every day, um, and that we as a news organization are, are positioned to cover. O'Byrne's family moved from Denver to the North Shore prior to his eighth grade year. It was while attending Salmon High School in Slidell when O'Byrne discovered his love for journalism. O'Byrne then attended LSU and received his degree in journalism from the Manship School in 1982, where he wrote for the Daily Reveille. After graduation, he began working for the Times-Picayune at the St. Bernard Bureau. His bureau chief was Jim Amos. He was instantly impressive, um, full of energy and ideas, and um, just irrepressible as a journalist. O'Byrne loved reporting the news in and around New Orleans, his home. And in August of 2005, following Hurricane Katrina, that home was under 8 to 10 feet of water. The morning after Hurricane Katrina had passed, uh, James and I um, headed to Lakeview to try to uh, get a look at the neighborhoods to see what, um, what the flooding was like. And, uh, and it was uh, considerably worse than we thought. Um, and uh, we had both brought our bicycles to, um, uh, to the Times-Picayune, and so we set out on, uh, on bikes. And uh, looking back on that, it's so primitive. It seems so completely uh, you know, primitive. Came back to the office, our cell phones had failed. Came back to the office with um, little spiral notebooks full of notes. And like the unrelenting and proficient journalist he is, O'Byrne didn't allow his flooded home and community to deter him from telling the story surrounding the costliest natural catastrophe to hit the United States. He and his co-workers packed up and moved their headquarters to higher ground. They ended up setting up shop at the Manship School of Journalism. One of the first things that James did was uh, on the night that we arrived in Baton Rouge, just fresh from the winds of Katrina, he uh, took one of our company credit cards and just uh, spent over $20,000 on equipment that we needed in order to function. After settling in and constructing a newsroom from scratch, O'Byrne and other reporters turned out story after story on the aftermath of Katrina. In fact, he and the Times-Picayune staff won two Pulitzers for their coverage of the damage left by Hurricane Katrina and the failed levees. O'Byrne shared a third Pulitzer in 1996 for a series on worldwide fisheries depletion. All told, O'Byrne won numerous awards and honors in his three-plus decades of writing, stories ranging from gambling corruption to race relations to big industry's toxic relationship with Louisiana's environment. It's not just the reporting and editing that continues to set O'Byrne apart. It's also his knowledge and abilities within the technology, advertising, and financial aspects of news. I've, I've really never met anybody who can articulate as well as James where the news industry finds itself now, where it needs to be going, um, and what the changes are that we're all confronting as we try to serve our audience. Um, he is singularly um, eloquent in articulating that. The important thing about James to me personally was that um, that he, he, had a, he had a pretty good view of the future and saw the digital world coming and uh, fostered that kind of journalism and uh, that was very important in my career and I think um, certainly proved to be the fact. For more than three decades as a reporter, bureau chief, and editor for the New Orleans Times-Picayune and NOLA.com, O'Byrne has seen his fair share of changes. In fact, O'Byrne's title has recently changed again to Vice President of Innovation, a fitting description for this journalist who's not afraid to adopt to the changing landscape of the newspaper business, all the while maintaining the integrity of his beloved journalism craft a craft first honed at the LSU Manship School of Mass Communication. 
Congratulations to James O'Byrne, a 2015 inductee into the LSU Manship School Hall of Fame.